Hello friends, the topic of this video is structures related to mediastinal surface of lungs. This is an important topic and questions in theory paper as well as in practical examination are often asked from this topic. So let us look at the questions that are asked in theory paper. They are, you can be asked to draw labeled diagram to show structures related to the mediastinal surface of either right or left lung. Second, you can be asked to enumerate any four structures or five structures related to the mediastinal surface of either right or left lung. Then you can be also asked MCQs from this topic. I have uh, given some MCQs at the end of this video. Then in practical examination, in spotting, you can be asked to name the structure related to the area marked such as four or any of the other areas. A flag can be put there and you can be asked to name that structure which is related to that particular area. Then in viva voce, you will be asked to show the structures related to the mediastinal surface of whichever lung is in your hand. Uh, that is, it can be either right or left lung. Let us see which structures will be related to the mediastinal surface of lungs. Look at this word mediastinal surface. So mediastinal surface means the structures which will be present in the mediastinum. That is all those structures which are present between the two lungs and the pleural cavity. Right? You can see here all these structures they constitute the mediastinum. So they will come in relation to the mediastinal surfaces of right and left lung. So here we can see in this picture this is right lung, this is left lung and this structure which you see here covered with pericardium this is the heart so definitely some chambers of the heart on the right side and on the left side they will come in relation to the lungs so first is heart chambers then second is we have two tubes right one is the trachea and behind that will be the esophagus so they will also come in relation to the lungs then we have on the right side you will find that the right side or right chambers of the heart right that plus you can see here big vein that is superior vena cava inferior vena cava cannot be seen here that will also come in relation to the right lung whereas on the left side if you see this will be the arch of aorta and its branches so aorta its branches here they will come in relation to the left lung then we have two important nerves which will be going from the neck to the diaphragm or into the abdomen also right so those nerves will be also passing through the mediastinum right so these two nerves are we have the right vagus the right phrenic nerve you can see the location of the phrenic nerve see it is going in front of the hilum of the lung whereas the vagus you can see is more posteriorly placed right similarly on the left side we will have the left vagus which is present here and the left phrenic nerve. So these are the structures which will be related to mediastinal surface of lungs. Let us look at the structures that will be related to mediastinal surface of right lung. Now in this picture the right lung has been removed. This is the root of the right lung and here we can see all the mediastinal structure and this view is from the right side of the mediastinum. So let us see which structures come, will come in relation. So first is which chamber of the heart, the right atrium. A part of right ventricle will also come in relation to the right lung here. But what is main thing is now the right lung will come in relation to right chambers of the heart which carry deoxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood comes to the right atrium via two big veins and these two veins are the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. So they will also come in relation. Now let us see, we can see some tributaries of the superior vena cava. They will also come in relation and these are, you can see here, this is the arch of the azygous vein just above the root of the lung and Another vein you can see here is the right brachiocephalic vein, right? Which will join the left brachiocephalic to form the superior vena cava. So what is important here is you can see I have labeled also with blue color. The mediastinal surface of right lung will come in relation to right chambers of the heart and to the veins, mainly veins, right? That you should remember. Now we have two tubes which will come in relation. This is trachea and the other tube is the esophagus. Two nerves now. The which two nerves? The nerves are the phrenic nerve 
right you can see this is more anteriorly placed right this goes anterior to the root of the lung and the one which is more posteriorly placed this is the vagus nerve so these are the structures related to the mediastinal surface of right lung now okay so now you can be asked to draw the label diagram of the mediastinal surface of right or left lung so we'll first consider the right lung and uh, here you can see in the spotting you can be asked to uh, tell which uh, structure is related to all these grooved or depressed areas right and in viva also so let us see how you will draw first you will draw the right lung along with its hilum after that the first structure which will come in relation the big chamber and tero inferior to the hilum you will draw of the right atrium and this big impression which you can see again right now between the anterior border and the hilum here in the lower part this is this impression is for right atrium now the veins let us see which veins first here this is the superior vena cava so this groove which you see in front of the hilum this is the this is for superior vena cava so you'll draw that and after that it's tributary that is the right brachiocephalic vein so this impression is for right brachiocephalic vein another vein which will come in relation will be the azygous vein so you can see here this is again tributary of the superior vena cava and you will draw this just above the hilum of the lung and you can see this grooved area just above the hilum number 4 this is for azygous vein then the other vein is inferior vena cava you can see here inferior vena cava opening into the right atrium so this impression number 5 is for the inferior vena cava so this is right atrium superior vena cava inferior vena cava two tributaries of superior vena cava they are the azygous vein right arches over the hilum of the lung right and the other is the right brachiocephalic vein now we have two tubes coming in relation and two nerves so let us first look at the tubes the tubes will be the sixth one is the trachea so here this impression is for trachea and another tube that is esophagus right so number 7 this is for esophagus behind the trachea obviously esophagus would be there and two nerves right where the impressions cannot be seen of the nerves but you have to draw the diagram so first is this will be the um, you can i have not shown this will be the phrenic nerve right going in front of the hilum and on the side of the trachea you can see this will be the vagus now let us look at the structures related to mediastinal surface of left lung so what in this case has been done is the left lung has been removed you can see the root of the left lung is here and the you can look at the mediastinal structure from the left side okay so what all do we see here which structure will come in relation to the left lung so here you can see this is the left ventricle and above that will be the left auricle so left chambers it is very simple to remember the left chambers of the heart they will come in relation to the mediastinal surface of left lung now left chambers of the heart they have got oxygenated blood right so that means which uh, vessels will come in relation to the mediastinal surface of left lung the arteries so left chambers of heart and arteries will come in relation to the mediastinal surface of left lung whereas on the right side it is the right chambers of the heart and the veins so let us see which arteries you can see here this is arch of aorta and this is the descending thoracic aorta this is descending thoracic aorta plus you can also see two important branches of the arch of aorta coming in relation right this is left common carotid and left subclavian artery the brachiocephalic trunk will not come in relation to the left lung okay so only two branches that is left common carotid and left subclavian so this completes our heart with arteries now what is left two tubes two nerves so which are the two tubes the two tubes are esophagus the trachea is hidden here which cannot be seen here and then two nerves right but before that one more important structure comes in relation to this and that is thoracic duct because thoracic duct changes its direction from right side to the left side at the level of t4 t5 vertebra at the intervertebral disc between t4 and t5 it crosses towards the left side and runs along the left of the esophagus so this is thoracic duct will also come in relation this is important relation you must remember this and then after that the nerves are this is the left phrenic nerve again see in front of the root 
and then we have the vagus nerve can you see this vagus be going behind the root so this is the left vagus there is an additional nerve which will come in relation and that is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve which is winding around the arch of aorta so left recurrent laryngeal nerve will also come in relation so here three nerves not two right recurrent laryngeal nerve will not come in relation to the right lung because the right recurrent laryngeal nerve winds around the subclavian artery right subclavian artery which does not come in relation to the right lung right so this has an embryological basis and often this thing is asked right so the left recurrent laryngeal nerve winds around arch of aorta whereas the right recurrent laryngeal nerve that winds around the right subclavian artery okay so that is the difference now again let us see how you will draw the diagram and how you will identify in the practical examination the structures related to mediastinal surface again first you will draw the lung along with its hilum and then the first thing that you are going to draw here is the chamber here mainly which chamber left ventricle and above that obviously there will be left auricle also after that now you have to draw the blood vessels so this is arch of aorta you will draw right and arch of aorta will be going over the hilum of the lung right so which vessel arches over the hilum of the left lung arch of aorta which vessel arches over the hilum of right lung esophagus vein remember right vein left artery and then we have this big blood vessel which will be coming here but before that let us see the branches of arch of aorta so this will be the left common carotid and this will be the left subclavian artery okay brachiocephalic trunk is not related to the mediastinal surface of left lung okay so these are there then after that we have the descending thoracic aorta so you have done chamber of the heart and the arteries you have already done next let us see the two tubes this is trachea right okay i should show you here also so this was the left ventricle second was the arch of aorta then this is the left common carotid artery number 3 number 4 is for left subclavian artery number 5 is for descending thoracic aorta number 6 is for trachea and then the other tube is esophagus so behind that will be esophagus here and here the number 7 just look at this here it will be behind the trachea but here the esophagus will be in front of the descending thoracic aorta just behind the pulmonary ligament so this impression is for esophagus now two nerves or three nerves in this case the three nerves will be the phrenic nerve which will not be seen the impressions won't be seen here so phrenic nerve you will draw in front and then the other nerve will be the vagus nerve you can see behind the hilum it is going and the last important nerve which will curve around and ascend up that nerve will be the recurrent laryngeal nerve so this nerve will wind like this and go back to supply the larynx this is recurrent laryngeal nerve right so this is how you will draw the diagram okay i am left with one more important structure i forgot that and you can see here which has got a beaded appearance you can see on the side of the left side of the esophagus this is thoracic duct this is very very important structure right this will come in relation to the mediastinal surface of left lung thoracic duct now the mcqs that can be asked they are like which of the following structure is not related to mediastinal surface of right lung right so options are superior vena cava esophagus vein thoracic duct and trachea so the option will be the correct option will be thoracic duct because it comes in relation to the mediastinal surface of left lung now which of the following structure is not related to mediastinal surface of right lung the options are inferior vena cava esophagus vein trachea and right recurrent laryngeal nerve remember the right recurrent laryngeal nerve is not related to the right lung okay left recurrent laryngeal nerve comes in relation to the left lung but not the right one so the answers are first ka c and second ka d these are the correct choices now let us see here Uh, which of the following structure is not related to mediastinal surface of left lung now right so left phrenic nerve is right 
ezygous vein thoracic duct left recurrent laryngeal one as soon as the vein word comes ezygous vein this is not related right so this is the right, right choice 1b which of the following structure is not related to mediastinal surface of left lung now now see arch of aorta brachiocephalic trunk left common carotid artery left subclavian artery these are the tribute uh, these are the branches of arch of aorta so brachiocephalic trunk is not related to the mediastinal surface of left lung so the correct answer is 2b that's all thanks for watching and if you have liked the video please like and subscribe it so that i can put more such videos and please give your comments also uh, so that whatever you want those videos i should put and for notes and all important questions along with their answers right in anatomy you can visit my website that is anatomyqa.com thanks again